Okay, here's a problem. The laptop started and is displaying this blue screen. It says inaccessible boot device and it's not working. So let's try to fix it by using a USB flash drive. The flash drive is already made bootable and it has the Windows installation kit on it. And I will press and hold the power button to turn off the laptop. Okay, press it again to power it on and then press F12 on the keyboard F12 repairing one time boot menu okay so I pressed F12 now from here let's choose the first USB storage device we have another one but that's UFI I don't want to use that one select this first USB storage press enter Press any key to boot from USB. Okay, and now the laptop is starting from that USB flash drive. And I will try to install another Windows. So cl click on that next button. Next and install now. Okay, there's the license agreement. Just press the spacebar to accept it. Okay, and press enter go to the next one now use the second option I will use that one custom install okay and the old Windows is on the same partition on that one 200 gigabytes that's only a system partition with 200 megabytes okay so if I install on that large partition then the, the old Windows will be renamed so let's just go here to next it's saying the same thing so it will be renamed to Windows old let's accept that one okay and now Windows 10 is being installed onto this laptop okay that's the first restart you can leave the USB flash drive there Okay, that's another restart. Now it's asking for the Wi Fi connections. Let's just skip that one. Make your computer easier to use. Windows will read and scan this list automatically. Okay, go here to skip this step, not that one. Use Express settings or let's customize them. Customize. Okay, now let's type in a username. I don't want any password right now, so let's go to next. And since the laptop is not connected to any networks, it automatically created an offline user account instead of an online account. And that's it, Windows was installed. Now all your old Windows folders should be in a different location I open the file explorer window let's go here to this PC there's the hard drive and there's the old Windows installation so if you want some personal files now get them out especially from the users folder and programs have to be reinstalled Okay, now the laptop is restarting now let's test it if it works well or not that's one single operating system is automatically loading the USB flash drive is not needed anymore and yes Windows successfully started and that's it thanks for watching and bye bye